Hey everyone, welcome to Purling Through Life. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So this is my channel and it's all about knitting and crochet and yarn. And today is supposed to be a weekly update video, but I don't have much to update you on. And it is also coming to you a day late again for the second week in a row. So today is Tuesday, April 2nd, and I normally like to film my videos on a Monday, but for the second week in a row, I was not able to. So here I am on a Tuesday, and it's not much of a weekly update because I don't have much to update you on. I didn't do hardly any knitting or crochet this past week, and that's okay, sometimes that happens. But instead of showing you nothing, I thought I would do a whip parade and do a bit of spring cleaning. So um, let's see, I have 17 works in progress and that's a bit better than last September. I had 23 and then I worked them down to, I wanna say about 10 and then I started more things as you do and now we're back up to 17. And I know that I have three um, of these whips that I was meant to frog in September and I didn't and I think the time has come for me to let them go. So this will be a whip parade and we have to make some decisions. So as I show you the works in progress, I will list the name of the pattern down here just in case I can't remember the name of the pattern and also I will list all the links down below in the description box of all the patterns that I'm able to. So if you're interested in any of these, there'll be a link provided down below for you to go and check out the patterns. Let's see, I think that's it. So I will also say this, it is spring break here in my neck of the woods. So I have my grandkids here and my grand dog, my grand puppy, and I've left the door open to my craft room so that I can hear things. So there may be some interruptions and I may have to pause a bit to go check on things. We shall see. And maybe you'll get to meet the dog. Um, he is a 10 month old uh, German Shepherd and he's beautiful. So, yep, let's get started with my whips. So the first one I'll show you is a knit whip and it's living in this bag from Barnes and Noble that my grandson's grandmommy she got me this bag and it says extra yarn. And then here's the other side. I just love it. And it's from Barnes and Noble. And this here is the coziest memory blanket. So I won't be frogging this, but I haven't worked on this. I can't remember the last time. And here it is. Now I do have most of these ends woven in. I just haven't snipped them yet because I'm not sure that I really like how I have woven them in. I'm not really sure. And I've still got a square going here. I've still got the square going. Um, yeah, so um, I do, now that I get this out, I really want to work on it. And I, for a long while, I was like, I don't really think that I like the tension. I feel like I could have gone down a needle size on this. <clears throat> so I'm using these here, these needles here. These are the signature needles and they're a 2.75 millimeter. And I really think I should have maybe used a 2.5, but I bought these specifically to do this blanket. So, um, and I don't want to waste any of this and I certainly don't want to frog any of this. So I guess I'm just gonna go with it. Um, maybe it's not so bad now that I'm looking at it again, but most of these not most of them, but I have a bag full of minis in here, a lot of which are the row one minis. Can you see? Um, I have, uh, I'm not getting that subscription right now because I have a whole big bag that I haven't used. 
so I thought, well, I'm going to get through this first, and then, um, if needed, I will, you know, get the subscription again. You know, you get, mm, let's see, you get 10, 10 gram fingering weight minis every month from a different dyer. So a lot of these are actual scraps from socks that I've made or, and there are a few, actually the one I'm using now, that is a row one mini. So yeah, we'll be keeping this and I'm looking at it and I really want to work on it now. So there's my first works in progress and that one I will keep. And the next one I'll show you, if you've watched my channel for the past few weeks, you've seen this. It's a crocheted amigurumi and it's living in this bag. And this is my Star Wars bag. It's my favorite Star Wars bag that I have. And it is by, I never can remember the bag maker's names. It's by a Stitchy Girl Studio. And this is Ray the Elephant. So I haven't worked on him at all. Here he is. This is what I have done on Ray the Elephant. Also, I'm not really going to go into detail of, you know, like on my regular podcast, I like to go into a lot of detail about the yarn and the needles or crochet hooks. So I maybe will a little bit, but I'm going to just try to keep the focus on just the, the works in progress. So this is, I'm going to keep this and finish it. I love it so far. Um, I think I have a little bit, and I don't know where it is. Here it is. I have a little bit of his trunk done as well. So see, since I showed this last week, nothing. I've done nothing. And the yarn is a cotton yarn. It's a Pima Suprema cotton yarn. I think the colorway is bone. And it's a Hobby Lobby yarn I got on clearance. So there's that, and that is a keeper. I'll be finishing that for sure okay so that's two okay this next one um I showed this last September and I don't know if I did or I didn't I'm pretty sure I must have shown it but I don't know if I intended then to frog this but I think I'm going to frog this it's not even in a bag anymore this is a knit shawl by Stephen West, I'm pretty sure it's the Twist and Turns shawl. I'm not 100% sure, and I don't have anywhere to check. Um, do I have any of the patterns available? Oh, I do, yay! It's right here, I just wanna make sure. Yes, the Twist and Turns shawl. Oh, so I think I'm going to frog this. So I have every, I've had, I've been off, I've been, I, I've been indecisive, but here it is. That's all I got done on it. That's it. It's not on any needles. It, there is some waste yarn here, or it's one of those barber cord thingies. Um, and I actually, oh, I look at, and I, I just, I think, oh, maybe what happened was I had this, see this side here? I had that side done on this side. And then I saw a very, oh my gosh, I saw a fairly minor error. And I thought, oh, I can fix that. No, it just started a train wreck. And I ended up having to pull the whole side out. All for, I mean, really, if I think about it, it was. It was, I don't even remember what it was. I just know I thought I could fix something and I couldn't because you have, I think I was even, oh, I can't remember, but it's all pieced together. Like you're gonna pick up stitches and stuff like that. Cause I think on this side, it may have been, I may have started what you do down here and that's where I messed up. I don't really remember. I just know that I should have just left the mistake. And now I don't know what to do. This all is Knit Pick Stroll yarn, fingering weight yarn. And I have a ton of it. So I have plenty to still finish it. 
I don't know. And I'm looking at it and I kind of want to start it. But for a long time, I was so angry at myself. I couldn't even look at this because that was a lot of work, you know, for something so ridiculous. But it looks good. Uh, maybe I don't mind. See, another thing, I'm not like in love with the colors. Doesn't look so bad. I wish, see this taupe, is that what you would call that color there? I wish I had chosen a different shade of this color, a bit lighter. I don't know. It looks good. Maybe I should start working on the other side and see if I mind it. Oh, I don't know. Now, every time, see, that's what happens. It's like, now you're going to frog that, and then you look at it, and you're like, oh, I don't know. We shall see. So this is in the maybe pile. Oh, I really don't know. All right, what do we have next? So this one is definitely getting frogged. This is living in this matter root bag, and this is a crochet amigurumi, and I paid for the pattern, and I'm going to whisper because it's supposed to be for my grandson. I do not want to make this. This is the retro sonic pattern here. And I have like just the little bits done. Let's see, what do I have done? I, I just have a bunch of these done. His little horns. That's really all I have. And then, well, no, I have, oh, I have his ears done. Just little things and just the little bits. I have his eyes done. That was another thing. I didn't really like the way the pattern called for the eyes. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to do my own thing. So the eyes, but I have to make like, it feels like 8 million of these. And I have two done maybe more I don't know um but I don't even think he likes Sonic anymore I mean that's not true he loves Sonic but his desire because he's nearly 10 the end of this month his desire for stuffed animals and groomies is kind of going so I'm not sure that he will want this because his Grammy is bad Grammy and took forever to make this but anyway, and the yarn I'm using, all the yarn I'm using here is this yarn bee, and it's soft secret, and it's kind of like Karen's Simply Soft. So I think uh, this is going to get frogged. I mean, I'm not really going to frog this. I'm going to just, I'm just going to, I don't know. I'm going to say I'm going to throw that those bits of bits away and put the yarn up. Not meaning to be wasteful or anything, but it's not really worth frogging. So yeah, that, that'll be frogged. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Eli. So there's one. That's frogged. Okay, so here's another one. And this is living, I love, I love this bag. This is in Cottontail Farms bag. I have a lot of these, a lot of her bags. I love them. And this is crocheted, and this I want to finish. Um, this I want to make a, um, like a market bag style um, purse. And I made all of these, um, kind of like granny squares, but they're not granny squares. So I have like, I have a bunch of them done. Um, so I have like eight of them done and I'm not really sure how many I need because I was just going to kind of, uh, do, do it myself, kind of just, uh, this, I got this as a YouTube tutorial. I have it saved somewhere. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I'll try to put it down here can't remember the name of it but it's a YouTube tutorial and then as far as the bag was concerned I was just gonna sew them together into a bag with this color is do I have it in here yes with this color 
I thought that would go really nice. So I definitely wanted to do this. I definitely do. Um, and then make a handle. So I've sew it all together with this yarn and then make a handle and there you go. I mean, can't, um, can't be too difficult, right? But I don't have a specific bag pattern in mind. Maybe when I go to do it, I might look one up or whatever, but I definitely want to finish this because I think that'll be beautiful. So, and this is all cotton. Um, it is, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby, which is 100% cotton. It's so soft, aren't these pretty? So that's definitely, I'm going to keep that definitely um, and get to working on it soon. I need to make kind of a plan like I did before um, about picking, picking the whips, not starting anything new, picking the whips and working on that Till it's done or picking I have to I can't just pick one I need to pick a few like only pick like three things to work on for the whole week instead of working on 18 things all you know you know what I mean I need to just stay to like three things really concentrate on those each week to get some of them done I don't mind having a lot of whips but um you know I do want to get stuff done let's see all right here's another knit one this is a keeper. This is another Cottontail Farms bag, Christmas. Um, so this is the, let me see if I can remember it, the Anthology Throw, which is a paid for pattern. And it is a round blanket that you're meant to use your Advent minis for. And it's hard to show it's really hard to show. I can't really actually show you the circle, really. I mean, I kinda can. So here is the bottom. There's the bottom where it started. And then here, oh, don't lose any stitches. Let me see if I can kind of shift things around so you can see. So here we go. So these are all the colors that I have in it so far. So you can kind of, it looks like a bag now, doesn't it? So it's hard to see, but these are the colors so far. And all of this yarn is, um, it's the Yarn Advent from last Christmas. And it is Sweet Tea Yarns by Molly Klein Designs. And it you know, came with 24 minis. And then Christmas day, you got to open a full skein and it's all fingering weight. So this is definitely, I'm going to keep, and I need to, you know, maybe I should have a day where I work on specific type things. Like, um, I don't know, just so, cause sometimes I, I don't like fully forget, but I kind of, you know, I think, oh yeah, I haven't worked on that in a while. I need to come up with a plan of, or, to organize myself so that I'll work on these more efficiently. So that's a keeper. So I have four keeping, one frogging, and one maybe. Okay, here's another one. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do with this. Okay, so it's in this big bag the yarn, all the yarn, and all the yarn. And this is from Hobby Lobby Clearance. And it's basically this yarn here, which is discontinued. This is Yarn Be Dazzling. And I got a lot of this and I got all kinds of colors. And I thought I would make a bunch of granny squares with this and then sew them together and make a blanket. And I have a bag. So that bag I just showed you is just full of the yarn and it's all different colors. And then this bag here has the actual squares in it. Some, a lot of the squares. Oh, so see like, let's see, how big did I do the squares? Okay, so this one here is not even. So this is actually the size of the squares. And, um, this came, this came from 
Krista at the Secret Yarnery. Is that how you say her name? A YouTube tutorial on how to do a granny square. Yes, I needed a tutorial on how to do a granny square because I don't. I don't hardly ever do granny squares. So I used her tutorial. And I've just got a bag full of them. Uh, not enough to make a blanket. See, here's another color. I don't even know what hook I was using. Probably, what did it call for? It called for a 5.5. So I've probably used a six millimeter. I know that I don't have a hook in here because I remember that. I looked high and low. There's no hook in there. That wouldn't really be difficult. Um, so I don't really know if I really want to do this or not. I have a whole bunch of these. I thought about in my town, in the county that I live in, they are the parks and rec. Is that even what they call it? Or is this just showing my age, but whatever the parks and rec type place they have, they're, they're teaching children how to crochet. And they have asked, you know, they have asked a couple of times if you have anything you want to donate. Well, first to sign up. And I think they, a couple of times, um, they have even asked for any, anybody would like to donate things. And I thought, well, I could just donate all of this. <laughs> even these, I don't know. But then I'm like, I look at it and I'm like, but it would be so pretty. Just all these different granny squares put together. And I'm thinking, so that's an, oh gosh, see what I do? I go and look at it and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll work on it. I and mean, I, I should give myself like a deadline to say, okay, by the end of, let's say by the end of May, if you've not picked it up, you definitely have to donate it. We'll see, we shall see. So that's gonna go, that's another maybe. Oh, I'm just going to leave that here because it's a big bag. Let's see. Oh. Okay. So this one might get frogged as well. This is a bag by Cedar Hill Farm Company. And this is a sweater for my granddaughter. You're not going to believe how much I have done of it. And you're going to be like, you want to frog this? So this is the Flax Sweater by Tin Can Knits. It's actually a free pattern. And... Here it is. I no, I can't frog this. The problem is, I don't like the pooling at all. Or is it pooling? I should have. Yeah, because it is on this side. Look, I don't like that. I really don't like that. This would definitely fit her next year because she's a little thing. I think this was the five-year-old size, and I know that it oh because she's little. Um. But I nearly have this arm done. Like it's very close. And then I just have this arm and then just around the neck. I can't really, I don't think I can frog it. Never mind. I just don't really like, I should have alternated skeins. This is a um, Knit Picks yarn. It's Brava. The Brava worsted weight and the, the, it's some type of speckled. Yeah, like this is Snow Day Speckle. So I just, you see that if I had just changed alternated skeins, that would look so much better. But what do you think? I mean, I don't like this. I don't like it, but it's so close to being done. I don't know. But I mean, like if she's not I don't really know if she, she would wear that. Mm, I get it, like, I'm gonna leave it up to her mother. I'm gonna say, honestly, you know, I don't I don't like the, I thought I would be okay with it. And I, I just keep like not working on it. Cause I'm like, I don't like that. I really don't like that. And I thought it would be fine. Cause it's a commercial, you know, it's from Knit Picks. It's not hand dyed or indie dyed. And it's all the same lot numbers. I just didn't really think it would be that obvious. Um, 
I'm not sure. That's another I don't know. I don't know. That's another I don't know. Okay, we're going to keep the I don't know over here. So that's three I don't knows. <laughs> All right, what is this? Oh, these are socks. Yeah, so you guys have seen these. This is in a twisted yarn fiber, twisted yarn fiber, twisted yarn and fiber bag. These are just vanilla socks. I have the first one done, vanilla knit socks. I have the first one done, just have to put in the afterthought heel. Um, yeah, so you have this much done. So this I did, so this is something I did this week, this past week, I did this. I did that. I did the cuff of the second sock and I knit my socks cuff down. And I'm doing a magic loop 2.25. And this is West Yorkshire Spinners yarn, um, signature four ply and the colorway Silent Night. So this is definitely, I'll finish these. So that's, that's a keeper. Um, what is in this one? This is another Cottontail Farms bag. I love her bag. And this I'm actually, oh yes, this is, this is a fairly new. I haven't worked on it in a few weeks. I don't even remember the name of it. I'm gonna have to look. Oh, it's the Marina. I hope I'm saying that right. And I think it's, yes, by Amba O'Brien. It's a knit shawl. And this is what I have so far. Can you see the, I can't really stretch it out that good, but it looks like little flowers or something. Can't really see too well. But this is all I have done. I'll definitely work on this. It's fingering weight yarn. Um, well, I'm gonna use two colors, these two colors. And this is a Leading Men Fiber Arts yarn. And this is um, a Passion Yarns. So these will be the two colors that I'm using for the shawl. And I'll definitely work on this. Um, you have to really, it's not hard or anything, but you have to pay attention because there's a bunch of yarn overs. You know. And you best to learn how to fix a yarn over if you miss it, so you don't have to frog. It's not hard to, to do that. But when you do a lot of yarn overs, you should go look up some tutorials on how to fix a missed yarn over which is not hard and there's lots of videos showing you how to do that um it's a lifesaver so that you don't have to frog everything back so there we go that's that i will keep that i will work on just have to like it's not one of those that you can just you know watch tv and knit you have to pay attention to what you're doing so let's keep all right, and this is definitely a keep. This is a blanket, crochet blanket, in this bag. And this is the Faith blanket. And I've been working on this. I didn't work on it last week, but this is something I've shown recently. And this is what I have on it. It's beautiful. I love this. I love this so much. So here we go. Here we go. There we go. And all of this yarn is Stylecraft Special DK. And yep. So this is definitely going to get finished. I love it. It's beautiful. I just love it. So that's a keeper. that's a keeper let's see um what is this one this is oh 
Oh, this is probably my oldest. Here, this is in a Cedar Hill Farm bag. Oh, this is probably my oldest, and I have to get rid of this. This is a knit scarf, and it's from the Harry Potter knitting book. I can't remember the name of it, but like I said, I'll link it down below. And it's color work, and every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, you, I want this scarf, but look. Look at it. Oh. Yeah, this is really old. This is really, really old. Um, no, I have to, I have to frog this. Because I haven't worked on it very long. I can't say I've made a ton of mistakes. My tension is terrible. Absolutely terrible. And I can see like where my floats are just not, I probably stacked them like you're not supposed to. I don't really, I don't know. Um, and this is Stylecraft yarn as well, but it's worsted weight yarn. Just Stylecraft Special Erin. Um, you know, I have to frog this as much as I don't want to. Um, I don't, I really want this scarf. <sighs> but I'm not gonna work on it. If it was a little bit longer, I could just make it into like a cowl, just leave it like that. Maybe that's what I could do and just, no, I can't, how would I get the, I don't know. So this is gonna this has to get frogged. It has to. I've had this for I don't know how many years. Does it tell you like when you print pages, does it tell you the No this doesn't? It's very old. It's years and years old. It's probably my oldest whip. Yeah. Now I have to frog this. I have I have said that for too many years I'm gonna get back to working on it and I'm not I don't really enjoy working on it even though I love how it looks even though there's a ton of mistakes because I'm not very well versed in color work at all um yeah this is getting frogged oh I'm sad about that alrighty let's see okay we can work show this one this is, this bag is from Algamy Fiber Studio. And this is a knit wrap. And I'll definitely work on this. This is fun. I don't, I don't really know why I stopped working on this. And this is called the Sedona Sunset Wrap. Sunset wrap. And it is a pattern on knit, knit picks. And I think it might be a free pattern. I took the needles out, but I have them written down here. Um, I needed them for something else, uh, the, the size they were. And and the yarn, I think it's an ice yarns. Yeah, this is the yarn. Yeah, ice yarns. And here it is, and I, I really don't know which way it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show it to you like this. Because it is like on the bias. It's I can't remember exactly which way it goes. But I remember it's fun. It's fun. It looks weird. It's curling. So you can't really see. You know, you can't see it very well. Like, see? Maybe like this. So, but it's fun. I, I remember having fun. I love the colors. Uh, I know it's so much fun. I stopped working on it. That doesn't make sense, but I need to get back to it. Because I love the colors and this yarn. It feels so, it just, it feels, it's not soft, soft, but it feels good. This was fun. I remember doing this. That was fun. Some of it isn't fun. Like, I don't particularly like doing that. 
yeah. But this part is fun. That is actually fun to do. I need to get back on this. Because I do like it a lot. My mother would love this. These are her colors too. So yes, I will work on this. I will keep this and work on it. I can't remember why I took the needles out for what project, but it was it was just the size of the needles that I needed. So that's a keeper. And then this one is living in Nan bags. I should know what this is. I can't remember. This isn't that old. Oh yes, this is a crochet. Oh yes. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. And it is called the Daisy, I think it's the Daisy Chain Shawl. There's so many, um, I think that's what, yeah, Daisy Chain Shawl. I haven't worked on this in a while, but I love this. Oh, did I just know? So here's this. This is crocheted. And this is a free pattern. I don't know which is the right side. I can't, I don't know. But here it is so far. And I'm using this yarn by Yarn Bee, Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee. It's Rainbow Rhapsody. And that's the yarn I'm using. It's a fingering, is it considered fingering or sport? Well, that's number one. So it's fingering. I will definitely be working on this. Yes, I'll definitely keep that. So that's another one to keep. And I've got one way down here. So oh, we're getting there. I think I have three more. I have three more. So this is, yes, this is knit. This is nearly done. This is the Hitchhiker Shawl. Um, I showed this last week. I didn't work on any of it. I'm just showing it again because I'm showing all my whips, but the, I'll, this is very close to being done. This is it, and this is a Miss Babs yarn. Fingering weight. I think it's the, I'll look at it in a sec before I say wrong. So this is very, very close to being done. This is what I have left. And it's Miss Babs. Um, My hair go wonky. I have to get my hair cut so bad. It is the Tarte yarn, and it is Orchid Fantasia, which is the Saf colorway for 2022. So that I'm keeping because it's nearly finished, and it's really nice, mindless knitting. So that's I'm keeping that. Um, what's this one? This is another matter root bag. And this is, oh yes, the, I worked on this a little bit. This is the Reading Shawl by Ophelia Talks, which is a YouTube tutorial. And I did work on this a bit. Did I mark where I was? Yes, I did. So here's this, this is a crochet shawl. And you see the stitch marker there? That's where I was. And so I worked on that all from the stitch marker all the way down. That's the progress I made. So I'll be finishing this. Yes, I love this. This is kind of a, I imagine this is going to be like a very good shaped shawl to really cuddle up with. And this is the yarn. It's, um, this is a Michaels yarn. It's a Karen, well, I bought this at Michaels. I keep saying that. It's a Karen cake, macchiato cake. And this is what I have left. 
of this and then I have a bunch I have three or four more skeins of this so yep this is a keeper I enjoy working on this too because it's just it's mindless it's just sometimes you need those kind of projects Okay, so one more. One more. And it is living in this bag by Twist Fiber Studios. And I'm forgetting what's in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is a knit cowl. And it's a free pattern. And I can't remember the... Let's see. I must have the name on here yeah this is a brioche cowl I think is all that it's called and it's a free pattern and this was to teach myself how to do brioche um, and here it is so I think I am probably I'd like to think I'm halfway done but I'm not sure so there it is and yeah, I'm going to finish this. Um, even though I don't necessarily enjoy doing it, I think it's so squishy. It's going to be a really nice cowl. So yeah, I'll definitely finish this. And it's these are yarns I'm using. This is Hobium yarns. They're discontinued yarns. They're so soft and squishy. They're the cotton, no, Melange Wool Tweed, Cartofu. I don't know why I said cotton, but it's acrylic and wool. Well, 77 acrylic, 20 wool, 3% viscose. But it's discontinued. It's a nice squishy yarn. So that is all of my whips. So I'm keeping 14 and then I am frogging two and whoops, frogging two and um, maybe on three. So those are all my whips. And so the next thing I wanted to do was um, pick another giveaway winner for Ray the Elephant. So two weeks ago, I, um, I ran a pattern giveaway for two people and one of the winners, Rhonda, um, said that, you know, amigurumi was not her thing and that I should pick someone else. So I'm going to do that. So just hang on. I have to go get my iPad and I'm going to pick another winner for Ray the Elephant. So now it is time to pick a winner for Ray the Elephant, which is a crocheted amigurumi found on Ravelry. And truth be told, I've already picked the winner and then realized that I wasn't filming. So I will show you who the winner is now. And here it is, I used the YouTube, YouTube comment picker, and it is Helen from Crochet Moments. So congratulations, Helen. And her comment says, it says, lovely projects again. The amigurumi is very good. I don't think I've made many recently. Lovely yarn that you bought. We have so few yarn stores in the UK now. Everything is online. So congratulations, Helen. Please send me an email and let me know um, your username to Ravelry or an email address that you would like me to send the pattern to, and I will do that as soon as I can. So again, thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you liked all of my works in progress, what I had to show you today. And if you made it this far, bless you. I thank you so, so very much. So that's all that I have to share with you today. And until next week, bye for now.